So welcome back. Here I am back inside of FreeNAS once again. And you can see that I'm in my plugins uh, tab and I'm looking for the on cloud plugin. So all these plugins in here that you see are plugins that FreeNAS can run inside of a jail. Now I'll be honest with you. You can make a jail and you can install almost anything you want inside of that jail. You can install versions, you can install different versions of Linux to try out. Um, you could you can install a um, virtual box installation and actually have Windows running inside of FreeNAS, which is really trippy that you can run Windows inside of FreeNAS running inside of a virtual box. That's funky. And that's how I actually run my virtual machines so that I can test things out on other operating systems without having all that overhead on my actual computer. So if I look in here, I'm going to look for the OnCloud plugin, and there it is right there. There's OnCloud. So I'm going to hit that and I'm hit install. Give it a second. This is this is actually pulling live from the internet and looking for the latest version of OnCloud plugin for FreeNAS. So it's not using a canned thing that's on this system. It's already just sitting there. This actually goes out and downloads it, and you can see it's downloading the plugin and bringing everything in here. So the advantages of running your own cloud server. Well, the biggest advantage is 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 that you have control of the way the server works you have control of the permissions you also have control of what of, of upload quotas download quotas um, you can set users you can set user groups you have a lot of distinguishable control over how your own server runs works and you're working with it one thing that I did with my own cloud server is that I told you I use it for clients so with my clients I let them have access to my own cloud server I give them a username and a password. They log into the URL, and once they log in, they can directly upload their video footage to my cloud server. How that's really cool is that since my cloud server sits right in my in my office, I don't have to go download their video from, you know, Google Drive or OneDrive or somewhere else and then be and then have it on my computer by me using my own cloud server I just have a share that's set up and you can see even though the screens a little it's grayed out because this is still installing you can see that I have a Windows share set up for on cloud so right here for on for for on cloud I have a share set up so when they upload things to me I can go look in my Windows share folder and actually see the video once they've uploaded it and the same thing is really cool on the other way is that when they are when they want to get their when they want to get their stuff all I have to do is just put the files onto my cloud server locally and then they can come download that um, from the share that we have shared together now that's really cool I really enjoy being able to do that it's a really neat way um, to be able to get stuff to my clients very easily and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these these are left over from doing this before so let's just make sure that these I don't want to I want to make sure that there's nothing messing with our new installation as we get into it so let's delete these storage pieces I don't want it I don't want it trying to store it somewhere else so I'm gonna go over here and look at my jails so let's go look at jails and you'll see that now I have two jails. I should have two jails. One is on cloud one, one is on cloud two. And you can see the IP address for those for those. So the original one is dot three and the new one we just made is dot four. So if I were to type in the ten dot one dot ten dot four, I would go to that on cloud. But something very important, right now it would not work because there is no storage actually associated with this jail the jail has been made but it doesn't have a place to store anything yet so you can't really do anything with it until you give it a storage so I'm gonna come here and say add storage so you can see there's my on cloud 2 there's my jail for it over here in jails and I'm adding storage so the source for that is gonna be under my mount and under the PHX media 2 and then there is my cloud server data set that I made and then destination is going to be browse 
and I'm going to come in here to media and I'm just going to do a forward slash and give it a and give it another folder to go into like test. So I'm going to make a folder inside of my media folder called test. And you'll see it says create directory so it will create this directory of test when I do this. So I'm going to hit okay and let the let it save. So you see it saved, everything is good, everything is copacetic. The storage has successfully been added. And now you'll see that I actually have a place and is it mounted? Yes, this is actually mounted. So this is mounted, true. This one's not mounted, which is okay, but this one's mounted, which is set to true. Now I'm gonna go in here and I am gonna go go back to my go back to my um plugins for just a second and I'm looking at installed plugins. And I need to make sure that this on cloud server here is actually turned on because if I came in here right now and typed in the the ten dot four so if I came in here right now and did ten dot one dot ten dot four you'll see that it pretty much times out and it said this site cannot be reached and and nothing's happening but if I come back in here and actually click the off and it'll turn it on so I'm now turning on this on this on cloud server I come in here and refresh this you'll see now look I have my own on cloud and it's actually running and right now when you first make your on cloud server when you come in here it's gonna ask you to make an admin account so I'm gonna make an admin account I'm just gonna do a test admin and let's do a password for it do something pretty simple and it's telling me it's a very weak password that's okay whatever I'm not gonna keep this and I'm gonna come in here and type and not type but I'm gonna click on the finish setup button so what it's doing right now is it's actually making a MySQL Lite database if you were doing this at the enterprise level I would tell you that you probably want to make your own MySQL database and connect on cloud with your own MySQL database but because I've only have like there's only really ever like maybe five ten people that access this cloud server at any given time I'm not too concerned about losing a lot of things or things going cuckoo crazy so you can see with doing that and doing the setup that we are actually inside of our own cloud server this is running locally now this is actually running locally on my network and you can see there are desktop apps for on cloud there's a there's an Android app and even a Apple iOS app as well and I can also access my own cloud via web dav if you don't know what web dav is then I might do a video on what the web dav is it's actually pretty awesome it's like a it's like a secure version of FTP um, and then you can also connect your contacts and your calendar so you could share a calendar. This is almost like a really super, not as in-depth as SharePoint, because SharePoint's really, really kind of in-depth product for Microsoft. But you could put your contacts and calendars in here and share it with other people. And if they're users, you can share data, share calendars, and share contacts, which is kind of really cool to do and set it up yourself. And I'm just going to hit X this out. So you can see my on-cloud server is actually live. I've got a documents folder and a photos folder. It gives you some basic, uh, gives you some uh, example photos, and you can see this looks just like um, Dropbox or OneDrive. I can come in here and, and squirrel, yeah, squirrel, squirrel. I can come in here and actually click through my images and everything else. If I had video, there's a video player that plays with this. Um, you know, so there's a lot of things that I can get to by using my own cloud server which is really cool I can even share these with other people so let's look at a little bit more of the in-depth kind of settings inside of own cloud in our next video